hello friends today in this video i will be talking about the javascript validation api and uh, we will be looking at form validation example practical example of it so this is my index.html file and here we will be creating a very simple html form here so just give it a title of uh, javascript form validation api and inside the body we will be declaring a simple form tag and we will be giving a id to it of form and inside this form tag we will be having an input field of type number so this this will be the field and let me just give it an id to it of well, let's suppose uh, input and after this we will be having the button of type submit and I will be giving a on click attribute to it so when we click this button this uh, validate method will execute like this so close the button here and this will be validate and we need not have to bind this inside the form tag so you can just delete this form tag here so we will have an input field and a button and now if I refresh the application you will see this uh, input field of type number here we can just input number and click the validate option in order to validate it now we just need to write our validate function inside our javascript so here we will write function validate and inside this validate we first of all need to get the value that the user types for that we just need to get the input field like this so we will be using document dot get element by id and here we will pass the id that we have given to the input field like this and now we will check if and we will pass this input like this input dot check validity so this is a function guys which is there inside this uh, javascript validation api so this returns a boolean value and now we will be writing this exclamation mark here so this simply means that if it fails if it returns a false value then we know that this validation check is failed now in this case we can just display an error message which is there inside the api so here we can just declare a paragraph tag and just give it an id of result and now we can just bind this error message like this we can just first of all get the paragraph element by its id that we have given document or get element by id and pass the id that is result and then we can just manipulate the inner html of input dot in order to get the message in this case this will be validation message like this that's it so this is a property inside this form validation api in the same manner this is a function which checks the validity of the certain input and this contains a appropriate error message if it fails then it will show this error message to you and now we just need to have our uh, filter here let's suppose we put a max here max limit so of 100 so if we Im if we input a value which is greater than 100 then this error message will come here now let me just provide h2 heading here uh, only enter values lesser than 100 to prevent errors like this so basically this will be simply be a message which will be there inside on top of the application so now if i enter a value which is greater than 200 let's suppose 300 and click the validate option you will see that this message i have not provided this message inside the application but still this message is showing because of this validation api which is there inside javascript so this is in this case it is saying to me that value must be less than or equal to 100 because in this case we have entered 300 value here and now if i refresh the application once again and if i enter the value 50 here in this case the check this is a valid value if i click validate now you will see that no message has popped in because this is a valid value now i can just change this to 50 here 50 value and now if i refresh it if i enter 51 you will see that the error message will pop in 
if I enter this value, let's suppose 47, no error message will come. So this is a JavaScript validation API and you can go to w3schools.com. There are more validation options that you can apply here. Uh, one such example is range under flow. Let me just show you this example to you. Uh, for this to work, you need to provide a minimum value. Let's suppose I change this max value to minimum. So this value, you need to write at least a value which is greater than 50. So here I can just change the message only enter values which are greater than 50. And now inside our JavaScript, we just need to change this line of code here, which is uh, input dot validity dot range under flow. So this is a property here. So basically it checks it again returns a boolean value. It returns a true and false value. So if it returns a false value, then we will be, uh, be writing this validation message, error message. And now if I refresh the application, if I enter a value which is smaller than 40, uh, 50, let's suppose 47, you will see that values must be greater than or equal to 50 here. If I enter a value which is greater, let's suppose 55, no error message will come here you can see that and uh, if I just change this to let's suppose max again there is a reverse property which is there which is range overflow so this is used for the maximum value so here it is range overflow so same case will be we need to just write only enter values which are smaller than 50 so the maximum limit is 50 here so now if i refresh it if i enter a value which is greater than 50 which is 55 error message will come up that is value must be less than or equal to 50 now if i change this to 45 this error message will go on here you can see that so in this way we have more properties that you can look here inside the documentation which is given on w3schools.com you can even check for too long here if a uh, elements value exceeds is max length pro attribute so now if I let suppose I change this to max length and I have 5 here let's suppose and here I change this to text and uh, then input dot validity too long this is a string let me just check here yes this is too long and now this becomes a input of type text so now if I want to write uh, some value you can see that I cannot write the value which is more than five characters because I have set this attribute of max length here five characters so I am una unable to type more characters here so this has stopped me from writing more characters so this is the max length property here if I refresh it you will see that only five characters are written here now if I change this value to let's suppose 15 so now you will see that I will write 15 characters if I wanted to write more characters it will not allow me you can see that and the validation will be successful so in this way you can go to the documentation of w3schools.com and read more about it this is a JavaScript form validation API which is there inside JavaScript so thanks very much for watching this video